Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with my garage and today I want to head over to the uh, house up in the woods, or at least where it used to be, and get a roof on the new garage. And I'll just check this. The coolant has gone. I don't know why my game lagged there. Let's see, reload the coolant gone. But the uh, cap did respawn. So we'll get this topped off. Like so. And then we'll drive this car back up to the house. That's typical, isn't it? We've got one of the nearly empty bottles. All those bottles piled up in the uh, workshop over there. And I get that one. Let's try again. I'm recording the this the same day I uploaded the previous video. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'll... Sometimes I'll um, record the next day or the same day I upload a video. But it uh, just felt like recording another one, so here we are. So actually, currently... Is it really? 8.35 in the evening at the time of recording this. I might explain why I can hear the uh, boy races, as we call them, over on the car park. And I can hear them revving the engines and whizzing up and down the road outside. I don't do it very often, and it's not something that really bothers me. And I've lived here for 15 years now, in this apartment, so I'm quite used to it. yet oh and towards the end of the last video I mentioned about hearing a loud bang outside turns out that was a sonic boom caused by two um, Royal Air Force typhoon jets and um, that had been scrambled to an Air India flight that was circling our coast because I'm not very far from the beach where I live but I think the closest seaside village is about four miles away. So, yeah, I'm not terribly far from the beach. Yeah, an Air India flight had a bit of a trouble. Give me the same problem as that thing over there was. So it's not stuck on the floor, and we're going to crush it the wall. I didn't change the engine or anything. Behaving like it's stuck, but it isn't. So don't tell me this one's uh, managed to bug itself out. This one keeps forgetting to put the bloody e brake on. Perhaps you won't drive this one up to the house then. Right, yeah, all the drive shaft's still in there. Hmm, that's peculiar. Um, I don't know why, but every time the game loads in, this um, sunroof loads in opened. If I close it and then reload the game, that'll be open again. Um... Let's take this one. 
hopefully if it's gonna move it may not move yep this one does we'll be a bit careful with this one because we've got the uh, turbos the game isn't trying to wreck me again Turbo just the original I4 in this, didn't I? Whoa! Almost. Nearly clipped a white car as well. Because I wasn't looking what I was doing, had my eyes elsewhere. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Do a complete 360. Oh. Who needs gears? You can just drop it in third gear and just drive. There's a heck of a turbo whistle on this. Actually, I'm not going to overtake you because knowing my luck, I'll crash into something. Should put a different diff on this. Whoa! Only tap the bot button. Whoa there, Nelly! I wonder why the other line's not moving. Oh, I still haven't painted the fuel door. Right, we need. We will need the blue box because it's got the roof bits in, but I also need da, 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 that one. And I was actually thinking earlier. And I've devised a much easier way to do the roof. Helps if I actually use the correct buttons. What I need to get are these. Not those ones, because they're a bit too steep. I don't want a roof that steep on it. Not those, not those, not those. That's better. And what we do is build the front gable end first. I'm going to have to uh, do it this way, aren't I? I think, for these. Yeah, you see. And I can get this where I want, I can get the overhang how I want it. Or I could just use the slope parts and put this bit here. I'm going to have to use a no clip. I could use, um, I put some stairs up, but I actually haven't got a platform to stand on up here, so. so I got those bits in the perfect position, so what I need now is the, uh, that bit. I don't know why I didn't think to do this on the house I built and did it the hard way. And I was just sitting here earlier today just thinking about it and trying to think of an easier way to do it and then I come up with this. I can use this as a guide now for all the uh, sloped roofing panels. Go, and then we go back to this one. Is it this one? It's this one, isn't it? No, this is a 
just that as well. Okay. Rotate. Back to our square panel. Problem is with building, it's extremely repetitive. But it's just the same thing in real life, isn't it? You know, when you're laying the bricks to build your house or whatever, you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Really, I don't know why I didn't think of doing this before. Ah. Um. That's going to pose an issue because that's going to be far too big to just put in there. Cause a lot of uh, I can see it's done that in the uh, lower row look i haven't quite lined them up this is the other reason that building takes so long because you'll do something like that then that will really irritate you if you don't fix it i mean i don't need to fix it right this moment so i think what i will do i'm just going to get the um The rest of it constructed. A lot further away from that than I thought. You could do all the angled ones like this, but it's not going to be as easy to uh, line it up. Not for me, anyway. That's why I'm doing it this way. I should build a platform actually to do this with. demo stick gun that is actually annoying me looking at that stop probably shouldn't have done that I would have thrown me box oh is that one I need isn't it Duh. mess up any on this middle row did I is that why there's a gap yep that is why see it exactly why there's a gap I just took out way more than I needed but this is gonna bug me if I don't do something with it so I don't need to touch those ones, do I? So let's grab this again. See if we can do it this time without uh, overlapping them. We 
reposition myself a little bit better. I've got like a little square. Oh, I've done it again. Look, it's right there. I've done it twice actually. Fuck. Not what I wanted to do. So we need to get rid of that one, that one. We're good up to there. One. like a square version of that look that square version put it in that orientation that's still going to cause an overlap isn't it I think I've just been around all of them Got a lot of choice, have I? This is gonna. T I don't think I'm gonna do this the whole video because this is gonna take me ages. Literally, just ages. You know what sucks? Got to do another one of these at the other end. Got to do another one over there. I might just get this side done first, then we'll see if I can find something else to do. See if I can get a row in without messing it up. wondering if I would be better off using one of hang on you know just pop one of these in it's going to be less overlap at the end of the day isn't it I'm going to get rid of, do the same in there with a few of these maybe, get myself into a position where I can see. Let's 
see if that works. If it doesn't, then I'll have to try something else. Getting there for this end. We haven't got many more uh, layers to do. I'm actually watching a video earlier before I decided to do another one myself from uh, Ask Rob. And uh, he was just saying, you know, how he's not a very good talker. And I'm, I'm not a very good talker either. You know, that's why I keep going silent every once in a while. I'm, I'm just not very good at keeping a conversation going, you know. take that one so that one should perfect gable end apart from a couple of patches that I had to do there oh nuts I can have a tree clipping through the roof aren't I oh well there's not a lot I can do about that I didn't think of that when I was building it I am not demolishing it now Might just do a flat roof across here on here. There's some stairs going up to it. I'm not gonna have a lot of room, am I? I was hoping I was gonna have a, enough room to like use it as a bit of storage, but I don't think that's gonna work. is going to get right in the way. Oh, the other thing I did that I said I was going to do as well is I went out and bought a new mouse pad. My one, I've had my other one for a good few years, so it was getting a bit worn out and it was just causing everything to be jerky, which is why I kept, when I was looking at uh, nuts to try and get the wrench on, it would do this. jerk it side to side which is pain in the backside. I was after because I just put one in the wrong place. I haven't decided if it's gonna be easier from this side or the other side yet. This side I think, yeah. I know I said I wasn't going to do this end, I, uh, I guess I lied. <laughs> I just want to get it done now. Now that I've got the hang of it and I've got a rhythm for it. I suppose the other thing I could do is actually bring that bit closer. I'll do. I'm assuming that this bit is the same as that bit, but just a different direction. Whoops, I've got both of those way off. I don't know what I was doing there. Try that again. That's better.
bumped me up a little bit. Oh, I'm going to be playing a new game. I might actually put up over the weekend if I feel up to it. It's a demo, and it's a demo for uh, I'm on Observation Duty 7. I haven't played it yet. I would like to. I've got the uh, demo. like that the series of games I think yeah I have actually got all of the I'm on observation duty games so if you want to see any of them just let me know in the comments the uh, demolition stick to that when I'm done I think which is great once you've got a rhythm going it's not so bad My keyboard was a bit more sensitive though. A bit more, a bit too far. There'll be much um, clipping through the roof, and I could just put a false ceiling in and hide it anyway, so no biggie. It's long to do this end as I thought it was. I thought it was going to take me ages to do both of these before I said I weren't going to do this one. In fact, we're nearly there. I've got two of these to put in and I think just two more these angle boards. Want, uh, where is it? One of them. One of those. I think that's the shortest one we have. You know, just to fill that in. And go and take that extra board off of there. <coughs> Scratching me throat last time, and that was a tickle. Right. You know, unless I decided to put another A-frame in, which I'm not going to. Uh, not an A-frame. Sort of gable wall through the middle here. I think we are done. I mean, I could just put a ceiling in right across there, which I might very well do anyway. Once I've got the roof on. Now, I just need some of those that match. I get myself in a good position. Yeah, that match that angle, so yeah, not that one. Something like that. I 
always like to put a little bit of overhang on the one. Have we got the wider ones? Is that the wider one? That's the wrong angle, that one. Because I'll be here all day with the other bits. Sort of guessing. You see, I've got a bit of a gap. Don't want the gap. What about if I come at it from under here? Can I? That's better. I've just got to cover the roof with these. I think we are over lapping a smidge, but that's fine. Turn that around and we'll go back down the other way now. Then I'm going to go all the way along. Yay! I wonder if these building materials and whatnot was a like a unity asset that Viking got, or if he actually developed this from scratch himself. Either way, it was a freaking good idea. I love it. Nuts. It is lipping into it a little bit. Whoops. My last three to do, so I would, you know, mess it up right there, wouldn't I? Yeah, with that, I've done it again. That sort of overlap's not going to notice on the uh, textures, so. Okay, using no clip as, you know, like a, a cheat. Okay, so I now want to know why it does that when it's not that far of an overhang. What I might do is just put the short one on, I think. Get the dang thing to line up. Why is it doing that? It's either too high or too low. Why? We need to change that axiom a little bit now. That's locked it. Yeah, and that's. Got it. And we've still got a bit more of an overhang this side than the other. Quite that much. It's about right. Back to this one now. If I knew how to time lapse it, I would time lapse it for you, but at the moment, I don't. Bunch nuts. <laughs> I think, I think I'll do this bit off camera because that is going to get really tedious, isn't it?
what I might do to help is just put that false ceiling in. I mean, I could actually put an office or something up here, couldn't I? Or some storage in the middle section. Put the steps up one side, maybe. Maybe just up here. Don't know. I'm going to have to uh, think on that. I mean, actually, now that I've got this bit done, I could uh, could actually do it this way. Just be careful not to fall off the edge of the roof. Inside a septic. Talking, this is the problem I have. Just like um, Ask Ron. Stuck into doing something like this and I just struggled to keep the bloody talking going on. I knew I'd do at least one. And of course, my demo stick is down there. Keep this up here with me, I think. Seriously? Use a narrow piece right up this end. Maybe. I've got a narrow piece that size. And I have. Might be a bit too narrow, maybe? No? Nope, that's perfect. Just imagine how long it would take if I was using these small bits. Not these bits. I'd be here all day, literally. All day. And see where the join is. So I'm going to go back over this way. Right, You won't get that bit in wrong. <sighs> this bit shouldn't be too bad. I wonder if I should crouch. Bring that in. Is that going to be any easier? It is good. At least when doing that side, it's going to be easier. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to say, please don't fall down. One more after this one, I believe, and then a small bit. There we go. And I've got the top centerpiece done. Now it's just the rest of this bit to fill in either side. 
But, uh, yeah, before I get too carried away, I'm going to leave the roof there for the time being. Last bit there might be a little bit off. Floor. Well, actually, floor reminds me I need to put a bit more of this over there. Get rid of that out of the way. Oh, I know what we could do. We could head to the junkyard and take our yellow bundle here. We're going to see if we can get that uh, nib to start. So we'll head to the garage first to get some supplies. I knew there was something else I wanted to do. I'll let you in for a little secret there. That's the first time I've used a handbrake to go round a corner. <clears throat> I'm too much like little Miss Daisy when I drive on this. No idea why. We'll pick Ted Bear up as well, but we'll... That was close. Coming in a little too hot there. our fuel like. Do we not have any working gauges? Right, anyway, we need supplies. Um, I'm going to take a few more of these up, as I did use a few of them. A few more of these. I think there is plenty up there, but I'd rather have too many than not enough. Uh, I can't remember whether or not we have fuel up there. Actually, no, scrub that. We'll go to the uh, engine shop. <clears throat> I'm pretty certain I have the uh, service parts. Oops in here. I really need to put another light switch inside so I haven't got just that one. Right. I4 section. What we're going to need? We are going to need one of those. Got one of those. Need one of those. Uh, need plug wires. I actually can't remember what we've got up there. Fuel pump. I know we need that. I haven't got a radiator, so do I get it from here? That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Um, I'm just going to cheat and take the whole thing. Probably don't need it, but I'm just cheating. What is this for? Probably going to need some radiator hoses, so I'll take those. Appears to be the upper and the lower. Uh, now, I know it's got a bad timing belt. So I'm going to take one of those, just in case it won't fire. 
Oh, have we got a box of spark plugs here? Never mind. I've got a bunch of them on the floor. Got two of them. But my uh, bag's full. And I'm not going to change the size of it now. Just in case, I'm going to take those other two as well. Suppose I had better take a can of gas, just in case. I don't even know if it's got a... Um... <clears throat> Hoojima flip. Um, Big of a bob. What do you call it? Gas tank. That's the one. I knew I'd get there eventually if I said enough random things. Let's get one of them. And fill it up. Got to get it from this angle, haven't you? I think we've got a can of gas up there, but I'd rather take another one just in case. We can always use it for another project. Okay. Pop that in there. Plenty of these wrenches dotted about, so I'm going to take an extra one up there, and I'm going to grab Ted. Ted, come on. Got you by your ear, apparently. To the junkyard. Starting to lose some light, so I think I'll uh, take a nap when we get up there. too fast. No you don't gang, you're not sending me into the drink. Need the first gear, I'll just roll it down the hill. Go. We made it, Ted. I still want to find a name for you, bud. Other than Ted. Right, I'm going to load in the um, junkyard so I'll be back in a tick. Okay, 
everything is loaded in. Uh, what what should I start with? Hang on. We've still got a bit of light, so... Yeah, that carburetor... Carburetor? Carburetor, rather, isn't too sweet, is it? Not worried about the alternator belt for the time being. But, you know, if this were to... Uh, will it start in real life? You'd see a... A uh, bad carburetor like that, you'd change it. So, we're going to change it. Um, bring one of these over there. What else have we got? I'm going to use the diamond chain for the minute. I am going to put the coolant in. I don't want to just blow up the engine straight away. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the timing chain, at least for now. I want to see if she's uh, going to go for us without changing that. And I'm sure I had another uh, coolant pipe there. I really want to hope the junkyard's got one. Oh, there it is, camouflaged against the bottle. Right. I got stuck. Got some battery wires on here. They should work. They're not brilliant, but they should work. get to these carburetor bolts or would it just be easier I'm swapping it for a you no know, good one for a good one if I do it this way so I'm not too worried about that exhaust manifold at the moment either okay so I'll pop this on I put the pulley in the back of this one. It is bonky, there's a spark plug that has dropped down there. I should have a crank pulley land somewhere. There it is, we'll get that on next. Good. We have a good fuel line. Let's lay that there. And I am going to change... I don't know why, but my FPS is really bad here at the minute. Maybe it's because the junkyard is open? if we've got oil in this. Yeah, we've got some very black oil in there. So I'm not very... I'm not looking very good. But we just want to know if it's going to fire up, so... start there I just realized I didn't need it did I we've got one yeah we've got one coil is in here somewhere spark plug uh, yeah there 
there is up in the wheel. Is it not letting me pick it up? Seems to be stuck. It's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, we'll pop a radiator in. And our uh, pipe work. <coughs> stuck on that bin. Right. Do just for now. <clears throat> I can get rid of my croaky voice. Let's just put that one on. For some reason, I can't get that one out. Actually, what I might do, now that I think of it, a quick run around here and see if I can find one. You have an i4 in the you won't <laughs> be engineless typically you too carburetor in here I could have uh, pinched coil is just the same though one more in this corner the coil is just the same right so we'll just stick with my one then Ray is not <clears throat> happy to see you. But you'd be happy to see me if I flashed my wallet under your nose. I'm gonna need it. I don't even check to see if we've got a fuel tank on this. The side, isn't it? The fuel. Yes, we do. Good. Right, we're going to need a juice box on here, aren't we? And we're going to need the uh, angry pixies to make it work. Okay. I believe it's spark plugs next. Spark plug was. Cool it and fuel. No idea why that alternator is down there. Two and grab two more. Good brake fluid and a good brake boost, but no brake line. <clears throat> He's buttoned up. Grab the wires.
apart from coolant, it should be okay. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick like one bottle in there. This will be enough just to stop it from overheating. Or I could just pick an empty bottle up. And then get stuck on that bin again. Let's dribble into there. <clears throat> yeah, one bottle would be enough just to stop this from overheating or firing up if it fires up. Please tell me I've not lost it again. Oh, there it is. I don't want to lose another one. Okay, da 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 da. Fuel in. Come on. Thank you. Give me my neck. Even though I backed up, that was still acting like I'd, um... I was still stuck on something. Hey, okay, I've got the gas roo in it. <laughs> Holy crap, it started. Success. We have a um, actual will it start? That's good because I'm going to leave it exactly like that. Get the suspension fixed up in the next video, and uh, we'll drive it back. The rule is though. I was going to say I was going to replace um, anything that was missing, but uh, <laughs> well, we're missing an up of this side. We've got a good shock, and I think just so it rides properly, I'll put um, better springs on. Oh, I'm also going to need a gear shifter, an e brake. Yeah. It's not curiosity. No. You could say, do we have any lights that work? We haven't got a dashboard to find out. So. <laughs> right there. Bit of a clear up around here again, don't we? So uh, that back in there. I don't think I'm ever going to use these, so I might just sell them. I've got good intake manifold on that, so what I will do is chuck that on the truck. Take the intake manifold off and go and chuck the rest of scrap on the thing. On the other truck, same with that. May just have a run around here and see if there's anything else I could find to take back for the scrap man. Yep, look at that. We've got an alternator stuck on there. There's the other fuel can. But... 
don't know if that's got anything in it. Ooh. Let's put this on the back of the truck as well, because I can stick that. When I've checked it over in the engine shop, is this the one that came out of our junkyard coronet that wouldn't move? I'm really curious now to put a gear stick in this and see if this will actually move. So we've got a good gearbox on there. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here, guys. So thanks a lot for watching. And I always say at this point in the video, like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then hit the dislike button. And uh, consider... Uh, consider... Subscribe for more content, is what I was trying to say. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!